Hi friends, today we are going to talk about something very important on the purchasing side. There are transaction code like ME2K. Okay, so let me first go. So if I go to ME2K and here you can see the scope of list is best. Okay, so what happens is people, so generally this is a user setting and people have to go here and select ALV or something to find it in a tabular format. Okay. So now what you can do is here. So let me show what, what is the thing that we are going to change. So here, suppose I want to get this report with orders. Okay. Not equal to orders. And I get this. Now this list, it may not be beneficial for you. You want it in a tabular format. How you can do it uh, uh, on a global way. So that this, this particular thing best will come as something like ALV. So in order to do that, you go to SPRO. So let me go SPRO. Then we go to SAP Reference IMG. Then we go to Materials Management. Then we go to Purchasing. And then we'll scroll down. There would be Reporting. Okay. So let me see where is Reporting. Yeah, here it is. Reporting. Now here. We will select purchase requisition list, scope of list. Okay. And here we will select define scope of list. Okay. Now this is the different scope of list that is defined already. Now we will do it for define default values for transactions. So if I do this, I'll get all the transaction codes. So here you can see there is ME2K best as well as ME2L is also best. So here what I will do is I'll just change this to AL, ALV, okay? And I'll save it, okay? Once I save it, it gets stored in a customizing request, okay? Now what we are going to do is we are going to go to the same particular transaction. If you notice, this is best now. If I go to here and I select ME2K and I do this, okay? Here you can see it's ALV. Similar things you can do for ME2L and other transactions. So this is very handy.